Well, it is summertime in Arizona, but that does not stop us from traveling around this wonderful state and seeing some really cool places like Wickenburg. And Sheila Good is here with us because it is a great time for us to go out to Wickenburg. And I like how you said this as you were traveling and you're like, you could tell it's summertime because <laughs> there's nobody really around. And that's what's so great about going into Wickenburg, which is growing yeah. amazing. But even right now, things are going on out there. We're all, we always have something going on out there. It doesn't matter what time of year it is. Um, so obviously there's people that live in Wickenburg, so we have to eat. We still go out and play, and so things are still open and bubbling away in there. So yeah, yeah of and, course. And I'm going to go ahead. Can I give away a secret, Sheila? Oh, it depends on the secret. Are you ready? What? That place is growing. It's oh amazing. And it's also just some of the hidden gems there from restaurants to, of course, yeah. the uh, shopping. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for some amazing Western wear or yeah. art, yeah. it's all right there. Can I ask, why is Wickenburg growing so big? Everybody likes our hospitality. They, uh, one of the things that they say to us when they come in and see us and actually talk to us, everybody's amazed at how friendly we are. So it's that Western hospitality. Everywhere they go, our history is right there for them. We celebrate it. Everybody's really proud of it out there. So they get a real good, true sense of what our community is all about. Yeah. Um, so it's just that typical small town USA with a Western flair to yeah. it. So. And, and when you walk down the street, you feel like you're stepping back in time, mm. um, which is really fun to do, especially with the young kids who are seeing, you know, the Arizona grow into the modern day. But to take them back into Wickenburg to yeah. see how it was before, it's great for them to learn the history of Arizona. It is. We are, Wickenburg in particular is a Western cowboy, you know, working cattle ranches still exist right within our proximity. So it is nothing, even in summer, to come into town and have a cowboy sitting right next to you with hats and spurs on and probably a bit of dust and <laughs> anything else that's there with them. But yeah, you can be rubbing elbows with, you know, true salt of the earth cowboys and cowgirls in Wickenburg. Yeah. Well, we know Father's Day is coming up and what a great time to grab dad, mm -hmm. take him to the west yes. and let him be that cowboy he always wants yeah. to be where he can walk down the street because there's kind of like a great breakfast place there that everyone's been telling me about <laughs> that, that's still kind of like, which mm, one? I know, like you're going, which one is it? But you said the one where you pretty much the cowboy still there and eat, yeah. especially when you have the little rodeos out there. This is like the best breakfast place to go yeah. to, so you got to get out there and discover it. Yeah. Um, and then barbecue, food, all kinds of stuff is yeah. there. Yeah, we have all we have everything. Anything your your taste buds could desire is basically there. So you mentioned breakfast. We have cowboy cooking. It's right on the entry as you're coming into town from the Phoenix area. We have small out of the way cafes like Spurs Cafe. We've got Bedouin's. Bistro, we've got a bakery even, um, and yeah, barbecue joints. We're just on your way out of town. We've got a place called Henri Hog. You can't miss it. There's a big old, there's a pig <laughs> right out in front, um, and, and that's just to name a few. I mean, and of course, plenty of Mexican food. Yeah. I mean, we've got institutions there that have been, as far as Mexican food goes, you just have to go. Yeah. And go stay in there. there if you want to stay, because there's actually some surrounding resorts outside of Wickenburg that take you into it. But yeah. even staying right inside. Wickenburg. There's a few little yeah. bed and breakfast I was hearing yeah. about, some Airbnbs that you can actually stay that people have started to have yeah. for people to enjoy Wickenburg more yeah. like closely. We have, there's choices. Wickenburg gives you choices. Small town, there's only 8,500 people in Wickenburg proper all year round as far as permanent residents go, but we have a lot of choices. So yeah, you can have a, a traditional hotel room. There's some right in town and some just a little bit further out. You mentioned the Airbnbs and then of course guest ranches. We've got three guest ranches there and they cater to everybody's individual style so yeah. you can go right from five-star resort type of thing resort and spa golf course all that um, through to more of a entertainment cattle drive like you said take you right back step back in time excuse time. me time type of place that's flying e guest ranch and then we have a quaint smaller historic one called kale bar guest ranch so, i love it i know we gotta get ready to wrap up but i want to make sure i get to my notes here because this is very important people because this is a date that you're going to definitely want to put on your calendar mm -hmm. and that is the wickenburg bluegrass festival yeah. that's coming up and also the fiesta de september yeah uh, september a, yeah so that's <laughs> happening um and then this is the one I hear that's really good, 
and I want to go check it out, but it is the Cowboy Christmas Poetry Gathering. Yeah. And this is bringing kind of like poetry from all around the world. I, I hear yeah. there's people like, I guess Wickenburg is really big with like Switzerland and Germany people, <laughs> and they come in like to do the poetry and stuff. Yeah. That, yeah. that is so cool. Yeah. We have, you know, of course our founding father, Henry Wickenburg, it was from, you know, the Prussia at the time. So yes, we do have linkages to Germany still and we do a lot of international marketing and it is European based in some cases yeah. and of course Canada and things like that. So we do have a market for that. But the you know, the cowboy poetry is what's keeping those old cowboy stories alive. Yeah. You know, those guys used to get out there and tell stories about, you know, whatever happened to them on a old time cattle drive and, and music and guitars and campfires and the whole bit and we basically try and recreate it. I love it. Perfect time right now to visit Wickenburg and then get ready for of course the fall. So yeah. tell them where they can find out more information about Wickenburg. Well, you can come find out more things to do and things to see if you come out to um, outwickenburgway.com or just type in visit Wickenburg and it'll take you to our visitor website and um, yeah you'll find all kinds of good stuff on there. Or I'd say just get in the car, oh, follow yeah. the signs to Wickenburg and you won't be disappointed. Nope. So thanks for joining Not us. Sheila. <laughs> 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 I know it's good to do it. So thanks for joining us. <laughs>